Hello, boys and girls. Um, okay, so um, today's Wednesday. Um, as you know, we have had some dramas with our technology. So um, there's a couple of things that I have changed. Now, one of our major dramas has been the chat function. So today you're going to notice that I have taken the chat away. It doesn't work properly especially not with all of the the load on the internet all over Queensland. It's not coping. So what I have done is I have replaced it with a discussion because the discussions seem to be working a lot better. Let me show you how we can use the discussions as our chat room. Okay, so here I am going to click on discussion. We'll go inside here and you will see this screen, okay? Um, here, I've already added a topic. It says general chit chat to friends. So this is where you can say hello to your friends when you log in in the morning. You'll click on it and it says reply, edit, delete. Okay, you don't wanna delete anything unless you've made a mistake on your own message, but you're not gonna delete anybody else's messages. I said, say hello, um, say your hellos to your friends in here. When someone says hello, you can reply to them and have a conversation. So let me show you. I'm going to pretend that I'm um, a student and I'm going to reply to Mrs. Marini and I will say, hello, Mrs. Marini. Um, I'll call myself Sue. Sue is ready to start. How are you? Um, so I will post that reply. And as you can see, I've started a conversation. Um, I can then go, hi, Sue, I am well. Um, um, what have you done so far this morning? And reply. And as you can see, we can have a little bit of a chit chat here. Now, then one of your friends can come in and, and reply as well and say, oh, hi, I'm here too. And you can have a big long chat about what you did last night or tomorrow or, you know, how your work's going, what you ate for breakfast, um, what colour shoes you're wearing, that kind of thing. Now, if you've got a problem with your online learning, you're going to start a new topic. You're going to come up to the top here where it says subject and message. Let's say you've got a problem with your spelling contract because I know a lot of you have already asked me this question. You would say, Mrs. Marini, I don't know what to do for the spelling contract. So that would be your subject. Spelling contract. And then in the message, you're going to give me some more information. You might say, I don't understand what to do with the spelling contract and you can post that message now i will see that and i will say okay i'm going to help sue with that and then i can reply directly to sue and tell her what to do i will say sue your spelling words are in the week one English and then Monday section. Use these words um, on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday to do activities from your spelling contract. Choose one or 
two activities each day. Easy, right? And then I will, oh, where's my mouse going? There it is, post reply. And then you can see that I've answered Sue's question. The good thing about this is that everybody can see that. So if you're also wondering about the spelling contract, you can find your answer. How good is that? All right, this is where I want you to ask me questions about your work and I can also ask you questions. Remember, general chit chat in the general chit chat thread and then your own questions can start a new subject. That way I can really keep track of who's asking me what and you can also go through those discussions to see if you've got the same question you can already answer it without having to send a new message. Okay um, I think that's it for today's video and I hope that this has been helpful and I really hope that we solve this chat problem. The good news is that the discussion board will work if you're in Chrome or Internet Explorer or Firefox, there shouldn't be a problem. So fingers crossed we'll have overcome that one hurdle that we seem to be coming up against every single day. All right, bye.